It's fall again, as it if as it hasn't been all season. The leaves are changing colors. They're already different colors where I'm at. And I just get memories of putting them all in a pile and jumping in them. Especially playing with my dog. But the thing is, I never really appreciated the uh, fall leaves. I always look forward to winter snow, Christmas. Like, leaves aren't going to give you presents. Leaves aren't going to... Leaves aren't going to get you out of school. But... Now, I think I've just, with the rest of my millennial generation, have just grown fonder and fonder of the leaves and how they look. And I don't even jump in piles anymore, but if I saw one, I probably would. So, welcome to the Roasted and Barreled Review. <clears throat> if you come to Kentucky, they generally have a festival of bourbon where all the distilleries get together and they'll have barrel races, they'll have tastings. It's a real collegial environment. And you're gonna find that um, throughout the distilleries. There's not really any negative trash talking or any sort of true drama out in the open amongst the bourbon distilleries, at least from what I can see. And that's something very appealing. It reminds me of my time going back to Texas with barbecue. Nobody was really that, there wasn't a whole lot of animosity between that and that really makes the customers feel welcome. So I've kind of gone on a tangent about two of my loves, barbecue and bourbon, but this is a pod, this is a YouTube channel on bourbon and coffee. So let's get to that. Today we're reviewing Bullet Bourbon and Sooner Gosses is Costa Rica La Pastora. Bullet Bourbon is distilled here in Louisville, Kentucky, and it is like a newer bourbon. It is um, a bourbon with, I don't believe, any wheat. It's mainly just corn, barley, and rye. And it is very good a smooth smooth sweet with a slight cherry flavor in it not as sweet as other bourbons like maker's mark but definitely noticeable this is an absolute buy now i have <coughs> sooner goss coffee sooner goss coffee is a local coffee shop here in louisville kentucky they have several store locations and it's becoming very popular both for their coffee and noticeable because it can kind of be difficult to pronounce the name. I was recently at a party and somebody was voicing their displeasure with me because I didn't rank their coffee very high but as high as they like but I gotta say this Sooner Goss Costa Rica La Pastora it's actually pretty good. It's got a strong, distinct flavor that is not quite unpleasant. I, while I had it cold brewed over ice, I could definitely see this, this going well in hot, regular drip coffee. It is an all-around good coffee to have. Not that it's the greatest coffee you're going to have, but you can't go wrong with this coffee. Now, the mixture together. This is probably one of my favorite pairings of this whole fall series not to say it's all downhill from here but this is very very good you gotta try this similar to a cooled hot chocolate because i like i have for the rest of these coffees and bourbon i've had it cold brewed over ice and i gotta say this pairing just goes and you should absolutely definitely try it now, before I let you go, I want to make a small note on my tastings, description, and programming notes. Going forward for the next season, I will be adding scripts, but I really want to talk about um, the pairings and what I'm tasting. I kind of get nagged, or I kind of get frustrated when somebody has a flavor profile that I'm just not 
scene. Like I get excited if I hear cherry and I don't taste cherry. And then there's some that are just really weird that you think you'd be able to pick out uh, that you just don't. So I'm going to be as real as possible with you when I say what I have. I've tasted and if you don't taste it that's perfectly fine uh, I'm not gonna say it's something if I really don't feel that it tastes like something and if I say it's something extraordinary like I've heard somebody I can't remember what they were tasting but I know they tasted a flavor profile of a garden hose now I can't say that I haven't put my mouth around a garden hose but that was a very long time and I don't think I've really ever had that profile in food but it's not like i wouldn't tell you if it wasn't there and but i will say that i do get frustrated if i can't tell it because i mean you would be able to go yeah it is like a garden hose and you your unconscious bias wants you to believe that it's that weird unnatural flavor but it just doesn't happen what i'm getting at is I'm going to be trying to be as straightforward and descriptive as I can with what I taste. So if you don't taste it, that's fine. But I'm not going to put anything in there that I truly do not experience. And I hope you all enjoy that. So until next time, the coffee, the roasted and barreled review is out.